Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about different style of mage hero pair. It's well known that one of the most popular hero pairs in the game is Lilia with Welin, uh, which is especially good whenever you are fighting against multiple legions because uh, they have aoe damage aoe means that you are dealing damage to the couple of legions like for example for lilia lilia can deal damage to two nearby legions and also she can apply scorch to different kind of legions and that's the way of dealing damage with lilia and welling after the addition of bertrand and tohar we finally get a new style for mages too it's more of a single target uh, damage dealers which are especially strong uh, whenever you are alive longer during the battlefield then you are dealing damage to the one single uh, hero uh, hero pair especially it can be useful against behemoths where mages are useful uh, simply because whenever you are fighting against behemoths you are dealing damage to the one uh, target and that's the behemoths in order for us to find out why and how bertrand and tohar can be uh, useful on the battlefield as a single target damage dealer uh, we need to understand what kind of play kit uh, these two hero pair has of course uh, bertrand can be used in different hero pairs but i think bertrand with tohar is pretty good because they have kind of similar play kit uh, first of all let's speak about bertrand because in my opinion bertrand should be the primary hero simply because uh, bertrand has skill talent tree in terms of skills and skill set uh, it's pretty obvious that Bertrand needs to stay alive and to deal damage to one target. Uh, skill damage factor is 1300 and uh, all the playstyle play style about Bertrand is that you are applying some golden mark and each golden mark increases uh, damage deal for 5%. Five, uh, 5%. Well, in terms of percentages, whenever you see percentage and damage, uh, you always feel good about the hero. The second skill when Bertrand deals hero skill damage he gains one stack of a golden mark again whole play style is, is around having golden marks on your target uh, and of course um, each stack of the golden mark increases hero skill damage up to 10% which is quite a good amount the third skill is like pure buffs it's a magic uh, magic uh, attack buffs and defense penetration i really like defense penetration in mages and also in uh, physical damage dealers it's pretty good uh, skill pretty good feature which i like a lot the first one is when in the field Bertrand Legion gains 5% uh, attack and defense both stats and up to 50% if you will max it out. Then awakening skill simply increases your damage with your main skill up, up to 200. Well, as we read the every single skill of the Bertrand, it's pretty easy to understand that uh, main damage dealing um, ratio is dealing damage to the one single Legion. Uh, now let's try to understand what kind of synergies uh, Bertrand can have with Tohar. After launching three normal attacks, uh, Tohar channel is plateau, dealing damage to the target every second for three seconds. Again, single target uh, skill, you are dealing damage to one hero pair which you are fighting with. Uh, of course damage type is magic and 500 is like for one second which will be 1500 in total right uh, that's a garrison skill especially great if you are a mage player because you need to have mage uh, hero in your garrison so your garrison leader will be using your main troops which are mages that's especially for mage players the third skill magic unit hero skill damage deal 30 percent well it's pretty obvious that skill damage is about all of this uh, is about this hero pair right whenever you are especially dealing damage to the one single target you should be dealing ton of damage so 30 percent is a high number fourth skill when tohar begins channeling the plateau uh, his legion gains undialing shelter for 
5 seconds. That's like minus counter counterattack damage taken, uh, minus 5%, up to 15, and shelter defense, right? So, as I said, the longer Bertrand and Tohar stays alive on the battlefield, the more damage you are going to deal. So, having this 35% defense bonus is quite a lot. Of course, we can see that uh, Bertrand also has 15% defense, so it kind of stacks. It will be quite a good amount in the end. The awakening skill of the Tohar after Tohar finishes channeling uh, Rage of Plateau, his Legion gains skin, uh, attack 35% for 5 seconds. Actually, in terms of awakening skill, Bertrand, Tohar has way much better awakening skill than Bertrand because Bertrand is simply gaining uh, 200 more uh, skill damage factor uh, whenever it's awakened. Well, it's pretty obvious, it's a single target damage dealer um, hero pair which needs to stay alive. Uh, they have similar buffs um, like in terms of defense and defense give us a chance to stay alive longer um, around the battlefield and both of the heroes need a couple of seconds to be able to utilize their maximum uh, on the battlefield um, now like it's easy to understand why why Bertrand should be primary hero because of this skill uh, talent tree I need to mention it again that uh, for the mages skill talent tree is the best one which currently is in the game now um, of course I would go skill talent tree until the max like for example spirit of the rage like generally I wouldn't advise to copy somebody's talent tree uh, find out read what kind of skills every single talent is giving you and play around your playstyle right uh, if you will just copy somebody else's skills um, in terms of talents you have no idea what advantages you're gonna get from the talents right uh, only thing i can tell on the skill talent tree is great uh, choose the talents the main talents like for example spirit of the rage uh, bullying blade um, cage animal uh, third of the blood uh, at first read the talents and then uh, think about your own gameplay how you are going to play about with this hero pair and then unlock these talents right uh, in my opinion there is not a better way of playing bertrand and tohar rather than choosing skill talent tree and magic until the health of course uh, but until you're just gonna copy it from from the someone just read it what these skills what these talents are giving to your legion so you will have the knowledge uh, and you will understand in general what you are actually getting whenever you are upgrading these talents uh, for your own hero pair like it's pretty obvious uh, skill talent tree is always number one priority whenever we are speaking about a magic hero pair and magics magic heroes right um, in terms of artifact, um, well, there is only one choice, in my opinion, like if you are going to max out uh, Bertrand and Tohar as a hero pair, uh, there is one artifact which is main artifact for Bertrand, it's of course Myrage Orb, it's a pure damage dealer artifact which is dealing absolutely amazing number of damage around the battlefield, and yet again, uh, like whenever we are speaking about other artifacts, they have multiple targets, like three targets, um, four targets, even five um, targets of dealing damage, but in this case, Mirage Orb is like dealing damage to the two nearby legions, which are knocked, and uh, of course, like damage far factor to the one primary target is 3000 on the level one, and that's pretty huge. And the other legion, which gonna be knocked out, is 1000. Like even here, it says that it's mainly um, one single target damage dealer artifact. Uh, also, which is most important, additional effect, every time your legion gains a buff effect through a hero skill, they deal 7% more attack uh, artifact skill damage, up to 21%. Uh, Duration is 20 seconds. Well, Bertrand and Tohar is giving each other a lot of buffs. Uh, it will be useful 100%. This is like most perfect artifact for Bertrand and Tohar, in my opinion, in general. But let's say you are not lucky as me, you are not pay to win player uh, you are 100% free to play player what would be your other choices if you don't have my rage orb basically anything will be great um, uh, like there is always two styles even with the artifacts one is primary uh, damage dealer artifacts such as phoenix eye 
for example uh, such as um, like even infernal flame but infernal flame is much better with lilia uh, but in this case like even uh, for example breath of the jargantis is quite good uh, more of a support type of artifact but with the uh, offensive attributes uh, and yeah again more free to play friendly artifacts phoenix eye and what i'm using currently is tier of arbon because in my opinion longer you stay alive around the battle the more damage you are going to deal to the enemy uh, that's why tier of arbon will give me a lot of survivability a lot of heals so that's the playstyle i'm running if you of course want to go pure offensive go for phoenix eye uh, go for infernal flame uh, go for mirage orb or if you have it like if you don't have any legendary artifact for mages uh, well magic bomb is like laser version of the phoenix eye and that's the only choice in epic section uh, in my opinion well like i understand everybody wants to have mirage orb but not everybody can have it because you need to spend a lot of uh, gems especially at the end of the season and even if you will spend a lot of gems you have to get lucky in order to get uh, mirage orb from the season ending compendium uh, that's all about um, artifacts in my opinion i have mentioned every single one of them which we have to mention in my opinion right and of course so yet again we have another aspect which is one of my favorite aspects of the whole game uh, that's the warpets and there is one obvious choice which warpet will be amazing for Bertrand and Tohar that's the Shadow Frederick right let's see why uh, deals damage to the target legion and inflicts captive um, your captive means that your legion deals more damage to the targets inflicted with captive uh, damage bonus in percentage that's the amazing amount of percentage for the uh, like scale damage factor uh, like warp it and everything what's gonna give you shadow break shadow fed rake will be amazing for bertrand and tohar and generally uh whenever two nero helpers comes out in the game and in addition there is one warp head which is like for example shadow break shadow fed rake came out with bertrand and tohar that's pretty obvious uh that the warp head is especially good for this newest hero i think um but there is nothing better uh, than shadow fed rake for Bertrand and Tohar plus uh, it's a flying warpet and Bertrand is a flyer that's another plus but of course like in terms of skills which kind of skills will be important for you to have besides the main skill uh, shadow hunter and the forceful shadow hunter I think a follow up is the number one choice always like follow up synergy is one of the perfect uh, skill synergies for the major hero pairs in this game and I would always recommend follow up for the mages because it just gives you ton right and of course um resonance i like this skill a lot um the warped skill magic damage dealt uh, in terms of percentages that's a great amount and uh for the attributes for the shadow of fair drake intelligence and spirit that's the mainstream for the magic uh warpits let's imagine that you don't have um, shadow fair drake what kind of other choices uh, would be totally fine of course uh sapphire fair drake another version of the fair drake family uh yet again it's great um it's like a more pure damage dealer um, warpet uh, in terms of uh, playstyle that's like more supportive that's easy to understand it says here that it's support um, shadow fedric F sapphire fedric's main idea is that you are dealing damage to the uh, two nearby legions or couple of nearby legions if you have a uh, pain bloom third skill uh, yet again it's pretty similar in terms of follow-up um, uh, playstyle and follow-up skill synergies and yet again resonance like in general i think this kind of uh, skill set is amazing for every single uh, magic warpet which is in the game uh, in terms of attributes intelligence and spirit is like number one choice um, which like it's pretty easy to understand uh, why and how because even main skills give you the idea which will be the main attributes for the every particular uh, hero pair uh, that's it in my opinion for the uh, warpet section of the bertrand and all 
Ohar and um, I think uh, Bertrand and Ohar is amazing because that's the one of the best uh, hero pair magic hero pair in terms of behemoth battles because whenever you are fighting behemoths uh, that's the one target you are dealing damage that's mainly how it happens and that's the damage dealer you want to have in terms of layer right whenever you are inside the layer of the behemoth and you know that you will have one target which you will be dealing damage i think it will be much better to use bertrand and ohar because you will have a lot of friendly alliance members who will take damage damage uh, instead of you also you will have some healing uh, wards which you can activate and heal your legion and yeah as i have mentioned uh, if bertrand and ohar is stayed alive uh, a lot of time during the battlefield and even in the behemoth layer you will absolutely deal a lot of damage to the uh, behemoths and even to the uh, target legions uh, how you can generally get bertrand and ohar let's say first bertrand it's much easier to get bertrand and ohar because uh, bertrand is always uh, available through the lucky spins of course uh, whenever bertrand came out there was like a couple of lucky spin events lucky wheels uh, where bertrand um, was uh, the primary hero which you can get if you have spent the uh, gems uh, and also during the seasons there is like a couple of uh, lucky wheels where you can choose your hero which you want to get and spin for and like if your primary target is to get bertrand i'm 100 percent sure uh, you will be getting it even though if you are not lucky and you cannot unlock it by uh, getting 10 uh, tokens in one spin one by one in like couple of lucky spin events in the end you will be available to get uh, like 10 uh, tokens of the Bertrand simply you need to unlock the hero and then you will be able to choose the hero from the VIP store and uh, you will get one uh, token of that particular hero which you have chosen in terms of Tohar that's more complicated how you can get Tohar uh, there is like only two ways one is strongest lord and if you are not paid to win player and you are not spending in this game you will have absolutely zero chance on how to get tohar through the uh, strongest lord uh, events because when uh, like the winners are mainly the people the player who are spending in this game and it will it's like almost impossible for a free to play player to get tohar that way another way how you can get tohar if you are uh, on the if you are on a servers like season 2 or season 2 plus you will have two chances of getting dohar from the wheel of destiny uh, the season where dohar and bertrand came out at the end you are having uh, dohar uh, and bertrand as a wheel of destiny rewards and the second chance is whenever you are entering to season sub 2 where i am right now the live server uh, you have chance to get bertrand dohar zaida and uh, magrot actually like until this season sub 2 i had the, i had not even had the bertrand and tohar um, i had them on the wheel of destiny i spin it like a couple of times as a free to play player with my limited amount of gems and i got both of them actually it was not my primary uh, choices but whenever you are unlocking the newest hero in the game you should be always happy and always grateful uh, it's pretty interesting um, like let's uh, summarize the idea um, like it's always great that we have different styles of the hero pairs of the uh, legion types in the game like if we're gonna compare it uh, for example in terms of marksmen we have Nico and the Kinara more of a skill damage factor hero pair of all archers uh, Syndrome and Fregar we have normal attack crit uh, Zaida and Magrot we have uh, normal attack with healing in terms of mages we have Lilia and uh, well in uh, like dealing damage to multiple legions we have waldir and well in uh, again dealing damage to multiple legions and finally after the addition of uh, bertrand and ohar we are we have a chance to have a single target mage uh, heroes and hero pair and the playstyle i'm always happy whenever there is an option for players to choose the which playstyle they like uh, even more uh, in my opinion if you are free to play player you would like to have bertrand and ohar more than Lilia and Welling because uh, in order for you to utilize Lilia 100% I think you should have 
you should have Alilia awaken besides that i think bertrand and tohar will be uh the better choice uh for free to play players of course you, if you will get lucky uh and you will be able to get uh the both hero pairs i hope this video is interesting for you i hope it gave you different perspective about this hero pair and in general about the game and as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night uh, we're gonna see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck